Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please, very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. South 32, the rainbow miner, the everything of every color in those assets that it holds has reiterated a guidance that didn't have any downgrades, and that needs to be taken as a positive because it's been a tough time for South32. They do and have a lot of the assets that BHP didn't want, and that's what they would spun them out back in the time, but they have had a fairly tough and torrid period through FY24. The reason I say no downgrades needs to be taken as a positive, if you look at it overall, this is a step forward in the right direction, and I think that needs to be singled out quite clearly. So having a look at it, their aluminium business, slightly better. Magnesium, slightly better. Metcoal, slightly better. Copper, however, was on the wrong side. Manganese oxide, wrong side, but not by much. And overall, it was probably a, you know, about even position to where they sit. So you look at the Sarah Goida and the Cannington project, they are a low grade bulk mining copper phosphate. And there has always been an argument that it was never going to be an asset that could really sort of kick on. It's the reason why BHP spun it out. It's a decent result for where they currently sit as well. The fact that they've done okay on Met Coal, you know, beat its big brother. Met Coal's been a problem for BHP. It's been a problem for Rio Tinto as well. Shows that they can get some assets going. And overall, it does have exposure to areas like manganese, like aluminium, that is still going to need demand into the future. So with that in mind, this is seen probably as, although it's not a great result, it's in this current environment, a good thing for South32 to say that their guidance has been maintained for this current financial year, and that they don't see any material changes to the outlook for the rest of the financial year through to June. 